Erwok and Elvi, knight at arms, alone and palely loitering. The sedge has withered from the lake, and no birds sing. Erwok and Elvi, knight at arms, so haggard and so woebegone. The squirrel's granary is full, and the harvest's done. I see a lily on thy brow, with anguish moist and fever dew. And on thy cheeks a fading rose fast withereth too. I met a lady in the meads, full beautiful, a fairy's child. Her hair was long, her foot was light, and her eyes were wild. I made a garland for her head, and bracelets too, and fragrance own. She looked at me as she did love, and made sweet moan. I set her on my pacing steed, and nothing else saw all day long, but sidelong she would bend and sing a fairy's song. She found me roots of relish sweet, and honey wild, and manna dew, and sure in language strange she said, I love thee, true. She took me to her elfin grot, and there she wept and sighed full sore, and I shut her wild, wild eyes with kisses for. And there she lulled me asleep, and there I dreamed, ah, woe betide, the latest dream I ever dreamt on the cold hillside. I saw pale kings and princes too, pale warriors, death pale were they all. They cried, the belle dame sans mercy thee hath in thrall. I saw their starved lips on the gloam, with horrid warning gaped wide, and I awoke and found me here on the cold hill's side. And this is why I sojourn here, alone and palely loitering, though the sedge is withered from the lake, and no birds sing. La Belle Dame Sans Merci, written by John Keats, narrated by Jordan Harling.